All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to Bearded Brad Barbecue. Today, we're gonna be turning this into this. Let's do it. All right guys, first things first, we've got to get the smoker started. We're gonna be cooking on the pit boss again. You know, open her up. I did just clean this and uh, if y'all want to see the video on how to clean the pit boss, I'm gonna have it linked down below. Go check it out. We're gonna get this thing started. We're just gonna run it on the smoke setting at first, and that's gonna run between 180, 190 degrees. That's gonna get a lot of smoke on these pork belly burn ends first. We're gonna let it go like that for about an hour, and then crank it up to 250, let it ride until they're done, and then I'll show you how we do everything else to make these burn ends. So we're gonna let this get heated up, head on back inside get these babies seasoned up. All right, y'all, so we got the smoker starters. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this pork belly, show you how we prep it. Today is the Tennessee versus Alabama game. As you can tell, I'm a Tennessee fan. By the time you're seeing this video, you already know the outcome, but uh, we're really rooting for a Tennessee win. It has been 15 years since Tennessee has beat Alabama. It's a long time. And I think today is gonna be the best opportunity that Tennessee has had in quite a while to beat Alabama. It's in Knoxville, game day is there, it is gonna be rowdy. And so we got some people coming over, so we're gonna make some pork belly burn-ins as an appetizer. Now what we're gonna do to start off with this, this is about a six pound pork belly, and so we're gonna wanna cut this into chunks, roughly one, one and a half inches uh, cubes. So we're gonna start out cutting this up. And I'll tell you, pork belly burn-ins are one of my favorites. I just recently made them. I've had them before from other people. And I made them the first time, maybe a couple months ago. And we, we've made them multiple times since. And they are just so good. It's like meat candy. All right. Now that we got them cut that way, I'm gonna turn them and finish cubing them this direction. Again, try to keep them even. We're doing, like I said, roughly one inch, one and a half inches, but as long as they're all about the same size, that's all that really matters. You just want them to cook evenly, get them all done at the same time. Yep. All right, now that we got them all cut up, we're just gonna try to lay them out individually here so we can get them seasoned up. If you want, you can use a binder. I've let this sit out for just a moment so everything's a little warm and sweating, so I don't really need a binder on these right now. And today, I'm gonna be using the barbecue rub from uh, Killer Hogs Barbecue. I do like making my own rub, but I'm a little low on spices right now. So we're gonna use this, had this in the pantry. And we're just gonna liberally coat this pork belly. We wanna make sure we got it fully covered. All right. I'm just gonna try to flip them over. Just make sure we get them fully covered, evenly coated, all that good stuff. We need seasoning on every side of these bad boys. All right. Season them up some more. Just give them a good mix. You're gonna try to make sure you got all sides coated here. That's the main objective. All right, let's go check on the grill, see if it's up to temperature, throw these bad boys on and get to cooking. All right, y'all, the grill is up to temp, so we're gonna go ahead and toss these bad boys on here. We are gonna be using the top rack, as always when we're smoking. Always like using the top rack when I can now. With a brisket or something, that doesn't fit up here, so we gotta go down on the bottom, but. When possible, always use the top. That fire pot's right down below in the middle and that's definitely the hottest part of the grill. So if you do go on the bottom rack, sometimes it can still get a little warm and toasty down there. All right, that is looking delicious. We're gonna let that go for about an hour, crank the temp up to 250, let it ride until they are tender. Then we're gonna toss it in with some sauce, show you all that when we get to the point. But uh, let's close her up, let her smoke for about an hour. All right guys, these have been on for a couple hours, so we're gonna give them a little check here. And we're not really checking for temperature for doneness, we just wanna check for tenderness. So I use the meat probe, not worried about the actual temp, we're just gonna stick it, see how tender they are. Oh yeah. 
glides right through there. A couple of the big ones, not quite as tender, but I think they're about ready. We're gonna go inside, mix together the, uh, the little slather we're gonna soak them in, and uh, we're gonna come out here, toss them in there, let them cook for probably another hour or so, get nice and sticky. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, those pork belly burn ends are just about ready to be tossed in the sauce. Uh, looks like I need to re-up on some barbecue sauce. I don't really have a lot of one. So we're gonna use a few different ones, do a little mixture. But you can use whatever barbecue sauce you want. This is the Kinder's Honey Hot. Just gonna use the rest of that. And we're not looking to have something that these things are gonna like soak in. You just wanna be able to coat them all and all of them have a nice mixture on them. So you don't, you don't need a ton. Again, we're just coating them. This is the Stubbs Spicy. This is a really good barbecue sauce. Stubbs makes some good stuff. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of Stubbs Sweet Heat. Always good to get a little bit of sweetness in there, which we got some stuff for that as well. We got some brown sugar. Hit it with that. This is what's gonna caramelize and give us some nice stickiness. And we need some, uh, some honey. It's gonna thin out that barbecue sauce, so get some honey down in there. The honey's also gonna caramelize real nice. Just gonna whisk that all up nice and mixed here. We just wanted to make sure to get those brown sugar clumps out. Try to get it mixed in the best you can. It's looking good. It smells good. Perfect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go out there, put all those in this pan, toss them around in the barbecue sauce. Then we got a stick of butter we're gonna throw on top, let that melt down. It's gonna be delicious. Well, I just realized I forgot to hit record. But we just pulled all the burn ends off of here, got them in a pan. Now we're gonna take this barbecue sauce mixture, dump it over top. We're just gonna mix that in, make sure they're all coated in the sauce. This is gonna be some meat candy. All right, then we're gonna take our stick of butter, just lay it over top. We're gonna to toss her right on back in the grill here. We're gonna let that cook for about an hour or so. Let them cool down, give them a taste test. I'm so freaking ready. Y'all comment down below, let me know what your favorite game day appetizer is. All right guys, just took these off the smoker and they look amazing. It ended up being right around four hours total. We put them on about 10 and it is 202, so right at four hours. We did the one hour on the smoke setting, which ran between 185 and 190. And then we cranked it up to about 250, did that for about two more hours, and then that's when we tossed it in the barbecue sauce, let it smoke and simmer and all that for about another hour. So a total of four hours, and they look phenomenal. It's probably still really hot, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste test. I mean, look at that color. So juicy. Mmm. It just melts in your mouth like butter. That is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are probably the best ones I've made. Those are so good. I just recently got this new barbecue sauce. It is a ghost pepper barbecue sauce by Melinda's. And if you've never had Melinda's hot sauce, they got so many different flavors and it is very good. And so I tried this barbecue sauce this morning, just did a little taste test and it's, it's pretty spicy. I like spicy, but the people that are coming over aren't like as into spicy stuff as I am. That's why I didn't go too crazy with this, but I definitely wanna make these one time with that spicy barbecue sauce. Cause even the, um, like the sweet heat and the spicy one that we use from Stubbs, like they're not that hot. And then when you mix in some honey and some brown sugar and the butter, it tames that down. But I definitely want to do a spicier one. I have seen some people that'll do these and then put a little slice of jalapeno on each one um, for the bite to get a little bit of a kick from that. So I may try that. 
But uh, y'all comment down below. Let me know if you want to try this recipe and uh, let me know what your favorite game day appetizer is. We're about to head on in. Get ready to watch Tennessee whoop up on Alabama. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, y'all yeah, take care. You.